Hello, everybody. I understand that the component of experimenting as a creator is causing some angst amongst IB music educators worldwide. And so I would like to offer this brief insight into some sample offerings as we prepare our final portfolios for the May 2022 and later November 2022 submission dates. You should be referring to the guide and the music teacher support material when designing your respective programs. Feel free to click on subscribe to be informed of any subsequent updates on this channel and do join us as a member of the IBDP Music Teachers Worldwide Facebook page for an important network of connections. To offer a quick warm up here, the guide, page 31, views this component of the course in progressive terms. Here I will adjust my focus slightly to specifically address the experimenting as a creator course. For this aspect of the course, students initially select their musical prompts or stimuli for their work to inform their musical decisions. For this particular series of creating excerpts, we focus on Cherubino's aria Non Sapiu from Act One of Mozart's Marriage of Figaro. The experiments offered here transform the original context and place the material in a jazz medium. The research into a range of diverse works reveal many important musical findings. Then, Students applied their knowledge and conceptual skills to their work whilst experimenting with the materials. As mentioned, these experiments were recontextualized in a jazz setting and typical musical characteristics were explored. Ideas were then developed by experimenting with creating conventions and techniques. For the samples offered here, Excerpt 1 focused on the strategic placement of ornamentation to enhance structural moments. Excerpt 2 on the placement of blues notes and their treatment. And finally for excerpt 3, the material utilizes syncopation and other rhythmic techniques as a unifying tool. Students practiced these ideas and through a carefully selected series of lessons involving inquiry, action, reflection, began to refine and revise their experiments. Students learned to control and personalize their practical and technical skills in the hope that their endeavors transformed the original source material on imaginative and compelling levels. Their reflections involved a critical evaluation of their work, discussing challenges and any possible solutions. A summary of this information appears in the following snippets from their experimentation reports. Here is the opening portion of the stimulus that was used as the basis for the subsequent experimentations. That recording there featuring the mezzo-soprano and Murray with the Vina Philharmonica under the baton of Riccardo Muti. Here, the students explain some of their findings and how their decision making was grounded in their artistic choices. Excerpt 1. Experimenting with music. 
My goal with the experiments here was to attempt to emulate the notion of improvisation in jazz by incorporating a range of expressive features. The running 16th notes, semiquavers, which became a typical feature of the bebop style, opens the excerpt, but standard forms of jazz ornaments pervade the remainder of the passage, namely trills, tremoli, acciacatura, glissandi, and mordants. These were not randomly peppered throughout the passage, but rather strategically placed in order to draw attention to some of the salient harmonic features and to provide contrast to the repetitious phrases. In bar 3, for example, the 4-3 suspension over F minor is exaggerated by the use of the trill. This is similar to the treatment in bar 5 over B flat 7. Further, with the same material appearing in both bar 10 and bar 13, it was deemed more stylistically appropriate to include variation at each of these moments. Excerpt 2, Experimenting with Music As a classically trained clarinetist, it was my aim here to experiment with the use of blues notes and in some cases merely with chromatic variation. The opening bars demonstrate this contrast immediately with the raised third, G sharp, as a chromatically lowered neighbour to the ensuing fourth degree, A. In the following bar, the D-flat lowered seventh, blues note, is subsequently corrected to D. Careful research was conducted on the treatment of these blues notes, and in most cases the resolution in my experiments followed standard patterns of procedure to fall by step. However, I was cautious in my thinking that one should not always view these notes as intending to resolve, but rather form an integral part of the scale without any inherent tension. I have included examples where immediate resolution is not always apparent, such as in bar 6 where the inclusion of the A natural sharpened fourth blues note is later treated to the same form of resolution as earlier examples by falling to G later in the bar. I also explored a greater register in my instrument from the original melody by Mozart, expanding the material at times to over the course of two octaves, bars 7 and 8. Excerpt 3, Experimenting with Music For this final excerpt in experimenting, I wanted to emulate the unexpected by injecting momentary rests within phrases. Such for the two-bar opening statement, bars 2 and 3, which is sequenced in the material that follows, bars 4 and 5, I have included quaver-length rests at the start of bar 4. These are more than mere examples of off-beat syncopation, but disrupt expectations given the fluidity of sound in the opening phrase. Further, I have experimented with the use of rhythmic interplay with the inclusion of the crotchet triplet that appears in bar 8 in relation to the accompaniment. In conjunction with strict adherence to the quaver length walking bass, this results in a fleeting example of cross rhythm. Again, this is not unprepared as triplets are introduced at the end of the first phrase, bar 2, in the second phrase, bar 4, and at the end of bar 6. Thus, I wanted to integrate variety in rhythms that are not only present for the sake of experimentation, but to unite the work by drawing attention to important melodic contours. A form of long-term rhythmic diminution is also present in the material. The pair of quavers at the start of bar 10 has transformed themselves into a series of semiquavers at the complementary moment in bar 13, which is finally elongated further in the final bar, bar 15. This is a typical technique in composition that helps to establish an increase in intensity.
Remember that for submission purposes, that is for assessment, the three excerpts should not total more than five minutes in duration. This is identical for the experiments in performing, and you should see page 60 of the guide for further details. For more information about experimenting as a creator, as well as experimenting as a performer, you are encouraged to view the materials on my IB, which includes the guide and the teacher support material. Further support appears on the IBDP Music Teachers Worldwide Facebook page and Global Music Concepts. I hope that you have found this informative and I wish you all the very best in preparing the materials for assessment. Thank you so very much.